Hello everybody, just doing a quick walk through of my studio. This is a resin table I made, a river table. Hardwood and epoxy resin. With a design down the middle. It took ages to do and it's, uh, I'm just trying to work out whether to keep it or sell it, I'm not sure yet. It's that much effort in it. Here's the stairs going up. It's got a few paintings hung up on the wall and a few things happening at the moment where we're still working on the NFTs. Uh, the main reason we just had all the paintings back up from London. Uh, they've been on a bit of a tour down there. That uh, we've had to photograph them all in a high res so we can put them into uh, a virtual gallery where you better walk in and look round with either goggles on or on your PC or on your phone. And uh, you better walk around, zoom into into different rooms and different pictures. And uh, each one of my pictures now are going to become an NFT. So you're going to get a, a one-off original NFT uh, and the painting to go with it. So they're both sellable commodities for the future and investment. And uh, it's going to go into, like I say, a virtual gallery, which is going to be fantastic, but... We just had to photograph them all. Try to ignore what I'm saying on here because it's really just what I'm saying now. That's uh, what I'm talking about there. Is it is a 3D painting that I've been working on. That's a wire one which I did in prison a few years ago. One of the, the big one on the on the on the left of that is the uh, prison yard one which I did while I did the Sky documentary. Oh, that's good. That's also going to be NFT'd. All different paintings in here. There's a few of paints there. There's a steam train that I did as a commission. A lot of detail, and that's a four before piece of work. That's, that was a John Lennon one, one of the first ones that I did in the dipping ones while I was in prison. That's the brick that we used. Uh, 500 and odd of them to build a, a five ton prison cell in the, in the show in uh, London at the Oxhall building last uh, October that's a Vivian Westwood one which uh, seems to be coming back into its own now because it actually says uh, you can't drink money for frack's sake which it did a while ago and then they banned the fracking but it seems like they're bringing it back now that's the O2 Arena, which I call a GMX. That's the only thing I remember it as. A couple of Bowie self-portrait there. A big one on the walls, White Cliffs of Dover, which is a commission one. All these different uh, paintings along the side. We're going to go through them all. They're all going to be listed on the and in the site. But I, I have separate rooms in here to do different things with. This room is a, a clean room where I can do my canvases. I build my own canvases from raw, stretch it, seal it. Uh, different things depending on what I'm working on. But uh, this is just done with a, a gesso. That's a linen canvas, which is stretched over my own stretcher bars. And I put uh, three or four backgrounds on that already before we even get to the the paint such as gesso back to more paintings these rooms on my left are, are like dirty rooms for for the for the dipping and the spinning this is one of my spinning tables which i only use really for for backgrounds for for the paintings because when you work on these you you can come out with some really weird backgrounds and that, that background then gives you uh, something to look at and to then think about what you're going to put on it. This is a hydro tank, a dipping tank, which uh, I use for the some of the pictures that are on the outside. I use a couple of chemicals in the water to change the consistency of the 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 the, the water, which makes it able to uh, then put the paints on top. I normally use HMG uh, enamels, coach enamels, and those are the type of backgrounds that you get with it. All weird, all unique. 
one off. None, none will ever be the same. I know the, there's two uh, yellow ones the same, but one of them's a print that then's had resin put on it as well, and different things. So that's a resin face one. But that's the background you can get. You get all sorts of weird cell-like structures. These are just other paintings that I've done over the years. A few of the drawings, those are the drawings that I first did when I first got arrested in 1991. Uh, I just had a pen and ink pad to work with. There's some more of there. Nice picture on, on linen as well. Prefer to work on linen, you get a great background, especially for detail work. The finer that it is, the better it is. But there's other ways to to uh, to do all that. There's a lot more paintings. Some experiments that never worked out. Some that did. It's not always straightforward. I suppose after 30 years I'm getting to know a little bit about what I'm doing. That was a strange one because I covered that in, in, in resin completely and it all fell off. Those are some of the old resin ones I used to do. I can stop doing them now. From, uh, from prison. Like I said, I've done loads of uh, videos for individual ones that are uh, important. There's a Fergie time one, I've done a couple of those. Different each time, I don't like to go back and do the same ones. That's uh, Audrey Hepburn with uh, Swarovski crystals on. And that's it. <coughs> 